Hindley, I am 12 years old and I am from Perth, Western Australia. I love hanging out with family, making comedy style videos, musical theatre, English and of course books. Today I am going to be reviewing the wonderful Hayden Allison Ashley by the amazing Robin Klein. Hayden Allison Ashley by Robin Klein is a classic book from 1984. It's in the Angus and Robertson Kids Top 50 and personally one of my favourite books. Robin Klein describes extremely well family life, school chaos and the emotions based around the friendship and drama of the two main characters, Alison Ashley and Erica Yerkin. Erica Yerkin, also known as Yuck, is a compulsive liar who makes stories about herself and her family to impress others. She told Alison that her brother was a monk, which clearly wasn't true when he showed up to the family barbecue in his underpants. Erica lives on the poor side of the street with a dysfunctional family. She dreams of one day becoming a famous movie star. She also believes that she is the school's best student, but is soon replaced by oh-so-perfect Alison Ashley, making Erica's jealousy directed towards Alison being so much better than her. Alison Ashley, the perfect girl. Intelligent, dignified, beautiful and posh, Erica makes it her mission to make a huge crack in Alison's perfect life. Never-ending arguments, rivalry and hatred towards each other seem like it never ended. Alison, Erica's polar opposite, lives on the rich side of the road, in her perfect mansion, in her seemingly perfect world. I definitely relate a lot to this storyline. I think everyone in their school life comes across some person who's just a tad bit better than them. Erica is often alone and being a hypochondriac spends a lot of time in sick bay, eavesdropping on teachers, hot gossip. I always eavesdrop in sick bay, although my teachers usually only talk about their husbands and their shenanigans while grocery shopping. Boring. Erica also has a huge dream of Broadway, something that I have dreamt of forever. I often share the same feelings and experiences as Erica too. For example, Erica at a school camp. When I went on school camp, I thought my clothes were so cool, but a lot of people ended up showing up in designer clothes. I thought my clothes were the best! Robin Klein reveals the problems that can occur when people don't fit into the rest of the community. The separations of the streets between rich and poor are exactly the same as where I live in Perth. One side lies the small and modest homes, and the other the successful, perfect mansions. As Hayden Allison Ashley was written 34 years ago, a lot of the technology was a bit funny to me. In their primary school, Bring East, they used typewriters to write information about students, and they even used dark rooms for photography. There was no such thing as emails, instead he wrote telegrams. I feel like in the modern world, this story would be a whole lot different. But I think the technology and, you know, it being a bit dated was one of the things that I enjoyed most about this book. It was still relevant to me, but the fact that it was dated made it a lot more fun and interesting to read, especially for other people my age. In my mind, I think that one of the main messages of this book was perfection. That there are always parts of your life that are perfect to others, but you dislike yourself. Erica dreams of Alison's house and money and possessions, but Alison really would like Erica's family and the love that surrounds her. Robin Klein has done a great job conveying the theme that perfection comes in infinite types and you shouldn't strive to be someone else because there's someone that loves you just the way you are and you should love yourself just the way you are. Overall, Hating Alice and Ashley is so funny and clever and enjoyable to read and I would 110% hands down recommend this to anyone who has not read this masterpiece. Thank you so much to Liz for asking me to read and review this book. It was absolutely awesome.